Duo fish. Believe it or not, there are several animals, insects, and plants alive today of which fossils have been found or which no longer have any close living relatives. We call these persistent creatures living fossils and should certainly respect their ability to endure. Number 15. The Alligator Snapping Turtle. Much like average turtles, the alligator snapping turtle has a shell that it can tuck itself inside of whenever threatened. However, similarities begin trailing off when you realize that alligator snapping turtles are actually nearly entirely carnivorous. Found throughout freshwater lakes and rivers in eastern North America, alligator snapping turtles will eat anything easy enough to get their jaws around. This includes small fish that it lures to itself using its tongue to mimic a worm, and things as large as a freaking adolescent alligator using its incredibly strong bite and spring-like neck to launch surprise attacks against prey. As a matter of fact, the alligator snapping turtle has the second strongest bite force in the animal kingdom, so be sure that you don't wiggle any appendages that you'd rather keep in front of them. Number 14. The Capybara. Found all over South America is the largest known species of rodent known as the Capybara. For some reason, the capybara is actually a very popular pet and due to its laid-back temperament does well around other household animals and even monkeys. Capybara are about the size of a very large house cat and much like some dogs will eat their own feces in order to keep their gut bacteria plentiful. Though frequently hunted, the capybara's ability to breed rapidly keeps its numbers in the wild high. Number 13. The Okapi. This endangered animal is closely related to the giraffe and is found in Central Africa. Much like the giraffe, the okapi can use its long tongue to clean its ears of earwax and it can also be used to clear its eyes of debris. Unlike the giraffe, however, okapi have relatively short necks and zebra stripes on their backsides as well as their legs. Okapi are seemingly solitary animals as they usually prefer seclusion until mating season. The okapi was actually unknown to the Western world until the early 20th century, as it was found deep within Central Africa. Number 12. The Hagfish. When a marine biologist is asked to name the fish that they believe are the most disgusting, I guarantee that the hagfish is near the top of their list. These eel-shaped fish are the only known fish to have a skull, but lack a jaw and a spinal column that usually come along with it. As a bottom dweller, Hagfish feed on the corpses of large fish and whales that die and drift to the bottom of the ocean only to quickly be eaten from the inside as these eel-like fish burrow their way inside and feast, absorbing some of the organic material through their skin. Feasting on rotting fish may seem off-putting, but did I mention that they can turn up to 20 liters aka 5 gallons of water into a thick white mucus when threatened? I suppose I should state that this mucus is currently being researched as an alternative to petroleum. Number 11. The Velvet Worm. I know it is improper of me to pick a favorite for my own list, but I just can't help but love everything about the Velvet Worm for no particular reason. From its boneless, squishy body to the fact that it catches prey using slime guns located on the sides of its head, the Velvet Worm is one of the most remarkable animals alive today. Fossils of the Velvet Worm and its ancestors can presumably be found dating all the way back to the Cambrian period. But due to their soft bodies, fossils are rather rare. The velvet worm is found in tropical parts of the world everywhere and look like worms with legs and thick squishy antenna. Another factor uncommon among animals its size is the fact that they give birth to live young. Velvet worms are closely related to the water bear, an admittedly adorable and resilient living fossil which almost took the velvet worm's place on this list, but they lack the ability to shoot slime jets in order to capture prey. Sorry tardigrades. Surviving for a while in the vacuum of space just isn't as cool as face-mounted slime guns which shoot at 5 meters a second. Wow. Number 10. The Tadpole Shrimp. The Tadpole Shrimp is a good example of a living fossil that has remained relatively unchanged in the past 250 million years. These crustaceans can be found worldwide in ponds and other bodies of water and feed on whatever sort of food presents itself, usually consuming dead fish and shrimp. You may have run into one of these little organisms and found the tops of them to be kind of cute, but the underside an eight clawed horror show. But don't worry too much, tadpole shrimp are shy, harmless, and content to live out their existence in bottom feeding obscurity. Number 9 The Hoatzin 
The Hoatzin is found in tropical areas of South America and is also compassionately termed the stink bird due to its rather off-putting scent of manure. This unique bird is the only living species and representative of its family known for having chicks having a claw on each of their wings which help them climb trees and thickets allowing them to avoid predators. This claw is actually shed as the Hoatzin grows older and learns to fly. It is a very dinosaur-like bird and was first thought to be an example of a close link between birds and dinosaurs. Though the claw on the wing seems to be a more recent adaptation, as opposed to an evolved appendage kept over time. Number 8 The Frilled Shark Lunging straight out of the dark abyss of the ocean and into your nightmares is the Frilled Shark. These deep living species of shark are rarely seen or caught, but probably have no problem catching prey themselves. Frilled sharks have mouths wide enough to allow them to swallow fish and squid whole, and their teeth are made up of several sharp spines that face backwards in order to keep their prey from escaping their mouths. Though it may look very primitive, fossils of this species have only been found dating back to around 2 million years ago. Because of their serpent-like appearance, some theorize that an enormous relative of this shark may exist, which may explain the sightings of giant sea serpents. Very comforting, I know. Number 7 The Ginkgo Biloba Tree This lonely species of tree has no living relatives which makes it quite unique in the world of trees. Fossils of the Ginkgo Biloba can be found dating back to the Jurassic period and they nearly went extinct but were seemingly saved thanks to cultivation by Chinese monks over a thousand years ago. This isn't to say that they are not hardy trees, however. Ginkgo trees seem to not be affected by pollution and were the only trees to survive the bombing of Hiroshima as they grew in the presence of high radiation and are actually still alive and healthy today. Because of their hardiness, Ginkgo biloba is desired by health food stores and their fruit are frequently sold in pill form to promote good health. Number 6 The Gar Gar are a fish species of which fossils have been found dating back to the Cretaceous period and can be found throughout the Americas. These are some of the hardiest fish on the planet and have scaly skin built like tough leather. Interestingly enough, the gar can use their swim bladders as a kind of lung to help the gar survive in low oxygen levels that would kill most other fish. The most well-known type of gar would be the alligator gar, which can grow up to 10 feet in length and are notoriously difficult to gut after catching due to their incredibly strong skin. As if catching the colossal fish with enormous teeth wasn't the most difficult part in the first place. Number 5 The Echidna Echidnas are one of the weirdest animals that we know of. For example, most mammals give birth to live young, but echidnas decided instead that it would be best to lay eggs as a mammal in order to appear more special to fanatical entomologists. They also secrete milk from patches on the skin instead of a nipple like most other mammals. The echidna shares a common ancestor with the platypus and happens to feature another very unique characteristic. The cute little guys have four-headed penises with spines located along the shaft. The explanation for this is still unknown as female echidnas do not have four vaginas. I'm pretty sure the dirty mutated hedgehogs only do it for attention. Number 4 the Red Panda Without a doubt the most adorable living fossil, the Red Panda is a raccoon-sized fuzzy animal that spends its life moving throughout the trees to avoid predators in a large range of southwestern China. Red Pandas are in no way related to pandas, but are instead more closely related to otters and raccoons. Red Pandas mainly feed on bamboo, but are also omnivorous and can eat eggs, insects, birds, and small mammals. So basically, it is a mix between a house cat and a raccoon. The red panda is a territorial animal, usually intimidating other animals by standing on its back legs and using an adorable, uh, petrifying headbutt maneuver to play and fight stationary fruit. In recognition of their skillful combat ability, DreamWorks even made Kung Fu Panda's master Shifu a red panda. Recently, fossilized teeth of another species of red panda were found in Tennessee, meaning that we could have had red pandas in the North American wilds. I honestly can't believe they aren't as popular as house cats. Number 3 The Mudskipper Mudskippers are found in coastal waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans as well as mangrove swamps and have an adaptation which clearly separates them from other fish. The Mudskipper is completely amphibious. That's right, 
these fish can breathe through their skin as long as they keep moist. But what could a fish be able to do on land besides flop around awkwardly, even if they could breathe? Well, these incredible little guys actually have fins with what essentially amounts to an elbow that allow them to skip around on land. It is rumored that an unevolved mud skipper once heard the quote, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb trees, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Before deciding to squash any connotation it had by growing elbows that allowed it to climb trees. Don't be like regular fish, everyone. Be like the mud skipper. Number 2 The Mantis Shrimp After an assumedly rough quarrel with Father Time, Mother Nature in her fury created the Mantis Shrimp, a crustacean with a sociopathic killing instinct and the equipment necessary to carry out its aggressive desires. Found throughout the Pacific Ocean and tropical seas, the Mantis Shrimp is one of the most interesting predators in the sea. Arguably the most intriguing part of the mantis shrimp are the eyes, which can detect 12 different types of light in comparison to our three. Not only are they able to discern colors that we can't even imagine, but each of the mantis shrimp's eyes are trinocular, meaning that they can receive three different images from each eye in comparison to a human's one. The mantis shrimp gets its name from the spear species that have backwards-facing mantis claws used to impale prey at speeds in comparison to the acceleration of a 22 caliber bullet. But wait, there's more! The Smasher Mantis Shrimp uses hardened round balls to stun and kill its prey by shooting its claws at 23 meters per second. This creates cavitation bubbles in the water which produce light and heat upon contact. They use this adaptation to kill crabs and other animals that water near them whenever they get a little bit peckish. It's a good thing they aren't all slightly larger land predators or we'd all be f- Number 1 The Horseshoe Crab As opposed to what the name suggests, the horseshoe crab is actually a part of the Calicerata subphylum, making it more closely related to arachnids like spiders, as opposed to crabs. These tough, crab-like spider things have been around for over 450 million years. That's nearly half a billion years old. These stingray-shaped and oddly face-hugger-esque ocean dwellers have outlived nearly every other animal while remaining virtually unchanged, having survived a variety of mass extinction events. One of their adaptations is actually incredibly useful to humans and has to do with their amazing blue blood. Horseshoe crabs are capable of nearly instantly clotting any wound that they receive, a response we humans have taken advantage of by using said clotting factor to test vaccines for contamination. So be sure to thank a horseshoe crab whenever you get the chance. I suppose Voldemort would have been better off drinking horseshoe crab blood instead of going after those poor unicorns, huh? Till next video, goodbye!